All right, you guys, we're inside. I think it's okay. The coronavirus can't get us. Who's that? Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the Scott Bar Show. How crazy that a week goes by, how things can switch in the news and what current things can be happening. Uh, that being said, last week's video, we were going over the pros and cons of having a short beard versus a long beard. And today's video, I wanted to kind of ride the coattail of that and why I'm digging the short beard at the moment. Now to start with the virus going around and beard care that we do, let's focus on hygiene as we're working with our beards through our growth and our journey. Make sure to wash your hands, make sure we're taking a full shower and make sure that we're ignoring big crowds. What's that? Ah! Now what we're gonna do today, I'm in that period where my hair is a little longer than I want it to be. I'm definitely due for a haircut and my beard is also the same way. We're getting really scraggly here on the sideburns. We're keeping everything clean on the neck, but also here the cheek lines kind of suffering and also the mustache. And for me, that's not the look that I want. I would rather have a shorter mustache, a faded up sideburn. So we're going to be cleaning the mustache up. We're gonna be cleaning up the under chin, also the cheeks, and we're gonna have hopefully a nice cohesive look. That way when we're going in to the barber, everything should be ready to go for him to cut, fade, and trim up my hair. So let's do that. I'm gonna start with the sideburns. I'm gonna finish up with the mustache on the time lapse, and then we're gonna come back here on the under chin, and I'll dive deep into that. Now I wanna show you guys a really cool trick when you're trimming up your mustache. Sometimes we get these little fray aways that go over the lip that the guard couldn't catch. So what I'm doing when I trim up my mustache to get that line on the lip that I like, I'm gonna actually rest my, ra my, my uh, electric uh, razor right here on the lip and we're just gonna ride it up. That way it matches the line of your lip to the stash. Same on the other side. That way everything's not hanging over and you're not having that white trashy look. Everything's looking nice and faded up. All right, now we have finished, and yes, it is short, but I do like a shorter mustache with a shorter beard. But everything is nice and faded, just getting me by for at least three to five days until I get my hair cut. But there's one last thing I wanna focus on that I really think is a hindrance when it comes to the shorter beard that we have to watch out for, and that's the under chin beard, okay? So what happens uh, with a lot of guys is when you have this chin, and a bigger one if that be, the hair has to grow over the mantle, over, over the yonder of the chin, right? So we have this distance that's probably about this long that the hair has to come over for it to start to have that length um, and show that our beard is extending off of our skin. And what happens is if we don't trim up this first while this is growing out, as you guys can see, the under chin will actually grow faster than our chin hair. And that is because there's a fewer distance from the bottom part of our neck down versus the top part of our chin. And it has to grow over to get that length, like I said, and that separation uh, from our skin. And you guys know that to fix the problem, we're gonna have to use um, the clippers. Now, I do not want to really use the guard on this one. And the reason why is when I hit, when I go up, I don't wanna hit that length that's on that chin. Because if I start hitting that, that hair starts going away and once again, we'll have to regrow. So for me, what I'll probably end up doing, I'm back, is I'm gonna grab my whirly twirly brush and I wanna comb and I wanna brush out my beard how I want. And this is a great way too for you guys that have grown out their beard. Remember, if we go down and we kinda do just a little bit of a reverse, comb on the beard 
So we gain actually a little bit of length on our beard, okay? Just, it adds just a little bit of girth, okay? But this is where I wanna show you, and it's, it's happening right now. Okay, as I come, you guys see, as I come down on the brush, you see how we just got that little middle form going on that right there? And that's where I'll just come in. There it is, right there, yeah, there it is. And that's pretty much it. We just, it's like just that little cattail of the bottom of the beard. And that's pretty much all we did. And we just that little half a millimeter, just that centimeter of beard, just really, in my opinion, makes uh, that look a little more sharper. And this now can fill in. And I've actually been getting a lot of comments, which is very true about having that not sh so short beard, but you know, maybe like a month or two and it's not long, it's not short, it's perfectly in between. And that's where I'm at. And to tell you the truth, no BS beards uh, with Matt actually does, uh, he has this sometimes and it's a great professional beard. It's not super long, it's just very well groomed. And I really am actually going for, uh, you know, with Matt, you know, and his no BS beard with re reviews and a shout out to him. So um, that's where I'm gonna keep it right now. I, I like everything nice and tight. Um, I just need to focus a little, a little bit on the cheeks right there, and that was because I was doing a little bit of a, uh, a line, as you guys can see. But as I say time and time again, this is the fun part about the journey. As that grows in and layers over, we can line it up, we can blend everything in, we'll get that haircut, and we'll once again be a sharp dressed man. So I'm glad I got to bring another video to you guys, just a nice tutorial that even having a shorter beard, having just more options and more opportunity to, uh, opportunities to bring more styles to the game. And uh, I'm all about it, especially when it comes to the hair, the beard, the stash. We always want to have a different switch up when it comes to different styles because different styles come in and uh, we want to adhere to those times. So you guys always appreciate it. Love you guys. Hope you're going to have a great and fantastic week. Have a great day and I'll see you guys on the flip side. See ya!